Hi, I'm Patrick Olson, Managing Editor from Cars.com. We're here at the LA Auto Show looking at the 2009 Toyota Corolla. The Corolla is an important car for Toyota. They sell quite a few of them. And the new design sort of mimics the redesign of the Camry. The front of the car is uh, very similar. The headlights are more of the sort of sharp angled headlights. Um, we're looking at the XRS version, which is really kind of the version I think my teenage son would prefer. It's got a more souped up engine with 158 horsepower, and it's the same engine that Cyan puts into the TC and the XB. For 2009, Toyota redid the interior of the Corolla, and it's very nice in terms of the controls. They're big, they're easy to use, and they didn't overcomplicate them, which is a great thing. The materials are not a lot different than the previous generation, but still, in, the, in its class, they hold up pretty well. For a lot of people, the Corolla is a family car. Sometimes it's their second car, sometimes it's their primary car, but if you want to get adults in the back seat, it may be a bit of a negotiation with the people in the front row. I'm six foot one, and this seat is where I sit when I'm driving, and it's a little snug back here, although I would say for short distances, it should be a problem. Headroom's a little bit at a premium, but this particular XRS version has a uh, sunroof in it, and that always takes some space away from you. The 09 Corolla offers a pretty big trunk area. You know, I can see definitely getting plenty of suitcases, even a couple of golf club bags in there. And what's nice is if you need to lower the second row of seats, they have these handy buttons here that you just pull, go up to the front, pull the seat down, and you get them out of the way. It's not as handy as some cars where it's a one-pull thing and the seat falls by itself, but still it's pretty easy. So the 2009 Corolla gets a new look that's very similar to its big brother, the Camry, and it's not as flashy as its Scion cousins, the TC or the XB or the XD. Now that's probably intentional on Toyota's part because they know that there's a lot of buyers out there who want something that's a little bit flashy but doesn't overdo it. For additional information on this car or any other, go to cars.com and our blog, Kicking Tires.